Well guys, looks like we picked ourselves up another CF Moto and it needs some work. We paid $4,000 for it, but it did come with a brand new, never used open trail plow right over there. So in this video, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna see if we can fix some of the plastics on it because they're cracked up, but I, I'm pretty sure we can fix that and I'll show you how. It does need some love. It needs washed, it needs cleaned really well, and overall it just, it needs a good amount of love. And we're gonna fix it up. So without further ado, let's get it off this trailer and get it into that shop. Runs good. What's that? Yeah, it's got some clutch issues though. It's got 1,456 miles. See how jerky that is? We'll be fixing that. It definitely has some clutch issues. Oh man! Limiter! Well, it does have a few, few issues. It definitely needs clutch gone through. It needs a couple pieces of plastic fixed. We'll get rid of these. Put the uh, little plastic push clips back in. We're gonna go over this whole thing. So I gotta get that over there off of the lift. Yep, and we'll get we'll get this over there. I'll probably get that thrown back together. I'm supposed to video going back together with that, but there's not a lot of people interested in that, so I'm not gonna waste my time with a camera. I'm just gonna get it back together and we'll get this on the lift and let's continue, guys. We're gonna start with the clutch. Of course we would. I'm still waiting on uh, some good stuff to come in to fix some of this plastics. But we're definitely gonna do that. We're gonna fix this whole thing. This actually isn't uh, in too bad of shape. Um, it is a 21 Seaforce 800 XC. It was used on a campground to do maintenance around the campground. Um, I think we got a pretty good deal on it. Like I said, it does need some work. But it came with a brand new plow. No scratches on that thing. Brand new, he said, said he bought it two years ago. And I know the feeling because I bought a plow two years ago and didn't get to use it but five minutes. Remember Ronnie? Yeah. And I just sold my plow uh, over the summer and watch. We're gonna sell this. A buddy of mine says he wants to buy it after I get done with the video and going through it. We were gonna part this out, but I have a buddy of mine that, you know, wants a quad to play around with. He goes out and rides, rides mine with me and absolutely has fun. He's like, man, I want one. So I told him a price on this. I'm gonna go through it. It's gonna get a brand new belt. It's gonna get all new clutching because it is jerky. It's, it's real touchy. So we're gonna go through the whole clutch. We're gonna check the oil. The, the owner said that it was just changed oil. So we're gonna check that and just look. Um, if it looks like it needs changed, we're gonna change it. We're gonna put a new air filter and everything you see, all the parts that we're gonna put on this, you can find at my website, www.rngperformance.net. Let's pull this cover and see. Can I get all the bolts? Make sure I got all the bolts. I got all the bolts, Ronnie. I don't think uh, this cover has ever been off. I do not believe so. And 
Oh, it definitely needs a belt. You get a good look at that. Definitely needs a belt. That belt is toast. Uh, clutches. We're, let's let's pull these clutches off real quick. I'm gonna mark them. Um, get the tools. Pull those off real quick. So guys, I've did a bunch of clutch tutorials. Um, there's a video that goes in depth and detail on how to line these up. So we're just gonna show taking these apart. I don't want to talk circles, you know, and waste video footage time and all that. Hey, wait a minute. All right, let me get the spreader tool. You're definitely gonna need a spreader tool, which can also be found on my website. You have to have the spreader tool if you wanna change the belt. Ooh. There we go. Going in the wrong hole. That's what she said. What? There we go, pull that off of there. We're gonna check this bearing. This bearing is good. And then always remember, sometimes, not always, but sometimes you have a shim. You do not wanna lose that. Not all machines have it. Some do, some don't. And if you pull it out, don't see it on the shaft, check in here, cause sometimes it sticks in here. So, look at that belt. That belt is toast. Hey, Christopher, you give me a 1,000 belt. What do you say we go build these, Ronnie? Pull the weights out of it. We're actually going to replace these, and a good thing, because these are wore out. Wore out. There we go. We're going to get our rebuild kit. It's clean in there, though. Guess what? There's a crack in that housing. So, that's junk. Well, lucky for me, Ronnie, I have a one that's in good shape here. So, we're gonna put in an upgraded plastics kit in the whole clutch. We're just gonna go ahead and rebuild that. This plastics kit, it will quiet this clutch down and it will upgrade it because the weights will last longer than these. So we're gonna start with the weights. This is a pretty good kit. Inspect that, it's good. So we're gonna put on new cam shoes as well. This whole kit will quiet this clutch down, make it operate very smooth, and will outlast the OEM stuff. Yep. There we go. There we go. Line that dot up. Look at that, nice and smooth. All right, that's done. It's time to move on to the secondary. Oh, and before, I wanna show you guys, this one sticks. I could tell when I pulled it out because it had a gap in there. That's a pretty good spring. We can. I got new ones up there. We're gonna pull that off. Check that out. Okay. We're gonna replace this nylon right there. We're gonna put a new one in it. And 
Okay, there we go. Put that back. That'll be nice and smooth, huh? Place these sliders before we go too far down with that helix. Now remember guys, this part when you go in to do your clutch, your secondary, you want to put your keyway down in. Put that down in, then you want to clock it. You have to take this ramp to the next ramp over. Hold it. You want to pretension as if you don't, you're going to have issues. Okay. And then when you go on with your C clip, you want to make sure your clip is opposite side of your keyway. There we go. Now we can release this. And it's not stuck. Let's go put it on, Ronnie. And yeah, I inspected the sheaves. They're all in good shape. Just for reference, guys, I always put the belt on so I can read it. So just like that. Clutch spring in. And I gotta make sure this is where's the mark? Here's the mark. I gotta feel for the mark. I have a video showing detailed information how to feel for the mark. All right, Ronnie, what do you say we pull this plastic off and start prepping it to, to be fixed? Yep, let's, done. let's do it. Grab our Milwaukee vacuum cleaner. Clip pullers, but I don't. I don't know where they went. There we got it. Holy moly! All right, we're gonna take this seat apart and we're gonna make this plastic look like it's new, new-ish. Again, aren't we, Ronnie? Just gotta take out all these screws. All right, got all the screws out of it, pulled the handles off. Now this plastic has got to come off some, somehow. All right, we got this wiped down. We'll just take our torch.
Now while doing this, you don't want to stay in one spot. You want to keep it moving. It does not take much. There you have it. Went from a faded, crappy looking seat to a decent looking seat. Boom, like new. At least it'll shine. It won't never be original perfect, but it'll shine. Cool. We're gonna put that back together and then we'll get to fixing that floorboard. All right guys, we're gonna plastic weld this and see if we can get it repaired, fixed, hold, whatever we can do. We're gonna turn our plastic welder on and let that heat up. I've never plastic welded in my life. Well, I take that back. I used to do this with a soldering iron and uh, weed eater gas tanks back in the day. This is going pretty good. Well, got it plastic welded, got it back on. I took a green cookie and feathered it and kind of blended it. I mean, yeah, you can tell it was repaired, but Blends in and then, you know, once we clean the plastics and re-shine the plastics, it should uh, look a lot better. And we'll take a razor blade in here, clean this up, and then we'll get that tucked down. The problem with this is it's been so deformed for so long that this, and I took the torch and heated it up and then pushed up on the plastic. And it did bring it in quite a bit, but... It's definitely not not perfect. So, you know, this is what it is at that point. Now it's time to check this air filter. I'm actually kind of scared because I think it's got a stock filter in it. How did I know? The good thing about it is this unit was only used in a campground, so I'm not too worried about it. Remember guys, get rid of those stock filters though. Grab yourself a uni from our website, www.rngperformance.net. Pick yours up today, guys. You cannot go wrong with a uni air filter. You just can't. We do also have performance air filters. They're also a really good filter and they are oiled. All right, got that done. Now we're gonna get this put back together and then we're gonna tune the ECU. Now I'm gonna hook up my computer and get it tuned and then we'll get it washed. Still gotta check the oil. I'll check all that. Be right back with you. We just got done tuning this thing. Last night, <laughs> it got done last night. Put the seat on. Now we're going to go wash it. Let's go clean it up. See what this baby actually looks like under all this dirt and nasty grime. Right, Ronnie? Right. We should go clean it up. Make it shiny, <laughs> baby. Woo, woo. Choo -choo -choo.
don't clean up half bad, does she, guys? She cleans up pretty good. Uh, we tuned it, we changed the limiters. She won't stop us at 16 miles an hour no more. Thirty-six mile an hour, baby. She takes off like a rocket. Like a rocket. Still got that annoying beeper, but we can pull the top of this dash off and pull that beeper out if we wanted to. guys well here she is in all of her glory she actually cleaned up pretty good she sat out in the sun all of her life so plastics were a little and eh, on her um, but she's ready to rip and ready to take on a new life so went through her and everything's good new air filter went through the CVT on it cleaned it up and yeah, we took off the ugly fenders. Uh, I never did like those, but whoever gets it, I got them in there if they want them. But, yeah, guys, I want to thank you for stopping in and watching. Peace out and God bless. Hopefully, you'll hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below if you thought we got a good deal or not. We are all in for, let's see, a $200 belt, clutch kit. The full clutch kit's like... For something, for something, I don't know. Laura knows all the prices. Um, air filter. We're not in it for a whole lot, just mainly time. So, and clean it up and yeah. Peace out and God bless, guys. See you in the next one.